All right, today is Monday, September 12th, and we're down here in Bourbon today, and we had an incident with the Missouri Highway Patrol, badge number 922, I believe it was. Couldn't get the guy's name, but here's Mike. Mike works over here at Mazarings Wholesale, and Mike's got a story to tell you. Go ahead, Mike. Yes, sir. Yes, this morning about approximately noon, we sent uh, the owner's daughter, Brenda, and their other daughter, their younger daughter, Katie, to go get lunch. And when they came back from Sullivan, uh, we looked outside and the, the younger daughter's coming across the parking lot and the older daughter is being pulled over by a highway patrol. The younger daughter comes up and says that uh, they're being pulled over for their seat belts when in fact that they had their seat belts on. In fact, they had spaghetti strap shirts on which most women wear during the summer times, the warm months, you know, and stuff, and uh, everybody knows them straps kind of cut. Well, the officer clearly seen when he walked up to the vehicle that both of them had their seat belts on, but in fact had the strap pulled down and tucked up under their arm, but still on across their midsection, so the seat belt was still buckled, still on. And we let this go on for about 10 minutes, and uh, the owner directed me to go over there and tell the officer that this is private property and you know this is kind of long for a seatbelt ticket you know uh, we need her back to work well when I approached the car and I walked across the parking lot the officer came out extremely aggressive and walked up to me and put his chest out and what do you want and I said well I, I was sent out here you know this is the owner's daughter and she works and I'm sent out here to tell you this is private property and you guys have been out here for a while. What's the deal? You know, uh, you know, we hear that she had her seatbelt on. I mean, and the officer just exploded. You know, he just came off with, I don't give a fuck whose business this is, whose property. He said, I don't give a fuck whose daughter it is. He said, do you have a problem with that? I said, so instead I start looking at his uniform and I look to the sides of his patches. I'm looking for a badge number. I said, I asked the officer where's your badge number and he said what did hooked on phonics not work for you can you not fucking read 922 it's on my plate and the officer does not have a badge on nor does he have an identifying number which in my opinion I don't know whether this is a real highway patrolman or not for all I know I mean he could have been sexually harassing Brenda for all I know I was not in the car but for a seatbelt stop well after the 10 minute when interrupted him he ended up keeping Miss Mazarin out there for an extra like 20 minutes so a total of 30 minutes for a seatbelt violation which in turn they still ended up receiving tickets for when they in fact both had their seatbelts on and then after when I came in to tell the owner what had happened you know when I walked away about him blowing up on me and she had seen the whole thing he let Miss Mazarin go and as she pulled her car in the back parking lot me and Miss Mazarin were in the side office while he, I heard the walkie talkie at the door. I poked my head around the corner and he looks at me and he says, you, get your ass out here now. So I come outside and he says, get in the car. Well, of course, this is where I get pretty ignorant, you know, myself. And I tell him to pretty much go fuck himself and he don't have a warrant. He's not here for me. And I'm a worker in a place of business where I work and following orders and directions as I was given you know and he is to be professional he is a police officer a peacekeeper and he is to to lead by example you don't talk to people with disrespect you know well, and, yeah respect begets respect yeah sure and he was completely disrespectful completely out of line and I told him to his face and then Miss Mazarain seen it while his car was right there where the Kia is he took his hat off and threw it in there when I told him I wasn't going to get in the car and I walked over to the driver's side, followed him over there because I obviously was not going to get in the passenger side because like I said, he had no warrant, he wasn't there for me and I'm just following orders, you know, and he was completely rude and belligerent to me and like I said, as far as I know, he could have been a fake cop. Okay, so you picked up the phone, you called the supervisor. Yes, sir, I came straight in while he still had Miss Mazarin for the 20 minutes. I had already been on the phone with this su supervisor, the Highway Patrol, Troop I and Rolla, and I can even give you the number I called, 368-2345, and I talked to a Lieutenant Douglas, 
And um, I made the whole report. And when I got off the phone, Miss Mazarin was still in the car. Okay. He still had her over a seatbelt violation when she had her seatbelt on. Okay. And what did the supervisor tell you? Supervisor told me that I did nothing wrong and she heard him threaten me and she was afraid for my safety because she thought that he was going to physically harm me, you know, over the fact. And then the officer pretty much told me that if he catches me out and left it at that, you know, so... And, and I walked was, off from him. And this was car number 922? Yes, sir. All right. We'll be calling the Highway Patrol, making them aware of this YouTube video. And uh, we hope Officer 922 would get at least suspended and uh, reprimanded and a public apology be issued to these folks. I spent about 45 minutes on the phone with a supervisor from there. They called about an 45 minutes an hour after the officer had left called and talked to me personally and we got to a point in the conversation where he was asking me what I wanted and I pretty much told him that were it a lesser strong-willed person somebody's rights would have been stomped on and the officer would have got away with it and so I figured it was fair for two days with no pay suspension and a personal apology well upon asking for that when I was asking what I wanted and was given you know I even asked the guy several times what my options was you know then he started to try to disprove me and I don't see how it was rocket science to figure out that he had Miss Mazarin in a car for 30 minutes pulled over we let it go for 10 minutes before we tried to stop it I was on the phone with y'all for the remaining 20 minutes while he still had her out here. and he bowed up on you trying to get you to con some yes. sort of confrontation and threatened harm if he catches me out and left it open-ended I What's that mean? Okay, and he was using this foul language in front of who? Uh, we had uh, two, three customers here. Uh, there was me, Miss Mazarain, their younger 13-year-old daughter. A couple of our customers had children here th that was here because a couple of them went toward the back of the store, you know. Okay, and, yeah. You know, and Miss Mazarain was afraid for my safety at, at one point because of the officer's actions and getting loud and aggressive. and. But using the F word the whole nine yards yeah, in front of you. Yeah, bombs and... And just, just total, total disrespect. Disrespect. All right, and this is Officer Number Nine Twenty Two, the Missouri High Patrol. Perts or pearls? It's uh, P A R T or L S or a Z. It's, okay. But it, it's, it's Nine Twenty Two. You get Nine Twenty Two. All right. You get the car. You get the officer. Uh, okay. And this is Mike from, and we, we Mike works here at Mazaring Wholesale. They're located in Bourbon, and these guys pulled a Missouri High Patrolman pulled someone over actually in the city of Bourbon over just a seat belt violation and I don't know if you've ever seen another car but you can you can tell when the seat belt is on otherwise it lays flat to the left so the officer knew the seat belt was on and she still got twenty dollars worth of tickets because the officer was furious at me amen all right well thanks Mike I appreciate you all you right, too, buddy. All right.